Hey, this is Chase from ShotScience.com, and welcome to my weekly blog. This week, we're going to be talking about visualization and how important that is to becoming a complete player. You might be asking yourself, what is visualization? Well, visualization is any time you imagine or picture yourself performing your sport or event. It might be an aspect of that sport or event, such as shooting in basketball. You might imagine seeing yourself with your elbow in and knocking a shot down, nothing but net. Or it might be that you're playing the best team in your league and you know, you're taking the ball away from their best player, you're hitting shots, and you're playing the game of your life. Visualization is actually very important to becoming a great player. The greatest players visualize because it's almost as effective as actually physically performing the activity, but you don't go through the same rigors that fatigue your body. Since we know that visualization is such an important part of becoming a great player, you're probably asking yourself, well, how do I use visualization to become a better player? Well, you probably use visualization already and you don't know it. How many times have you gone down to the park or shot in your driveway and really thought about knocking down that game-winning shot over another player? Right? That's visualization. So in order to actually become better by using visualization, we need to use that as a training technique. So there's two different ways to use visualization as a training technique. The first is mental rehearsal. And mental rehearsal is when we go through any kind of motor skill, uh, such as shooting and basketball, and really perform that activity over and over in our head to really learn it and ingrain it into our motor function. So as we think about it, our brain actually uses those neural pathways to help develop muscle memory without actually having to shoot at all. And recent research has actually shown that mental rehearsal is almost as effective as actually physically performing the task. Now the other aspect of visualization is something called mental imagery. And that's what we touched on earlier. Uh, when you go out and shoot in the driveway and imagine yourself beating that, you know, 22-0 and 0 team at the end of the year. Mental imagery is when you actually put yourself through an event and imagine yourself beating the best teams, knocking down the game-winning shots. And what that is important for is building confidence. And confidence is everything in basketball and any sport. So the best way to use visualization to become a better player is to set up a mental rehearsal routine and a mental imagery routine. You should spend a little bit of time each day going through your shooting mechanics. Think about that. Mentally rehearse that aspect of shooting. Think about your elbow in. Think about all the little things that you think about as you're actually physically performing that task. So and picture yourself. Imagine yourself shooting. Imagine the mechanics of the shot. You should also spend time in a mental imagery routine. So go out on the court and spend your time going through what it feels like to pull up and knock that shot down. Having gone through that will give you experience of actually performing that event without actually having to do it. Well, I hope you can use visualization to become a better player. And thank you for tuning in to ShotScience.com. Don't forget, comment, rate, and subscribe.